So we're going to talk about the foil battery and charger. This is the standard charger. It's smaller. It does not have the fan on the top. And uh, you can plug it in in any order. But uh, to start off with, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to plug it into the wall first for the charger. And as I plug it in, we'll no point out some lights. So it takes a little moment for some of the lights to turn on. And eventually you're going to have just this blue light and the lightning bolt's going to come on as well. So you can see that took a little while to turn on. And another thing that's going to take a while to turn on is if your battery has been sitting in storage for a while, when you plug it in, it's going to take equally as long. And on the cable, you will see an arrow. This arrow is going to help you to line up the cable on the terminal of the battery properly. Because you will notice in here, some little teeth here, that even though the pins look symmetrical, these teeth are not perfectly symmetrical. You can also see it on the top of the terminal here. So here's the top of the terminal with some lighting here. You can see that the grooves for the teeth are different. So this is not a totally symmetrical plug. This arrow needs to be facing in the same direction as the labeling, the foil logo, down here on the side of the battery. So that's one way you can help to remember. If you want to, you can even paint the arrow to find it better. So you want to plug it in straight up and down. And so you may need to like just kind of twist a little bit see even if I have the arrow here and then I'd slowly turn it you can feel it kind of click on just make sure it's straight up and down and then you may need to take this ring and twist it either direction until the threads of the ring seat properly just like a pickle jar the first time you do this oh, we heard it click and it actually turned on. So looking down here, you can see this battery symbol here. This is supposed to be a symbol of a battery. It has uh, actually two different lights on it. There's two bars and then the last bar and an arrow. So that'll be blinking. And as it gets to the top 10% of the battery, the remaining part of this light, the top bar, will begin to blink as well. And we'll show you that when it is close to 90% full. Here you can see the arrow pointing down in alignment with the face of the battery where the logo is printed. And you can actually connect the terminal to the cable without twisting the ring all the way down. The ring is just to ensure that it stays connected and tight and will not come off on its own. This ring is the exact same ring that is on the cable of the powertrain on your e-foil as well. So if ever you need a replacement ring, you could potentially take it off of the charger to put onto the powertrain cable as well, which is a good thing to know about for potential uses in the future if you should so need it. So sometimes you'll hear the battery click on even before twisting the ring down. You hear the click? It's a very light, subtle click, but it is audible nonetheless. Likewise, you will also hear the audible click when you remove the cable. Hear the click? Also, when you disconnect the cable, you will hear an audible, more tinging type click from the charger itself. Okay, so now we are on the final 10% of the charge. You can see here, as I mentioned before, the top part of the green light is now flashing. And if we go over here to the controller and we pull it off the battery, hit the button once to turn on the screen, we can check it via the app. We can also check it via the screen. Sorry, my screen is very dirty. Um, you can see that it's 97%. It is on the final 10% and will be blinking as shown here. When the charging is finished, 
the green light will be full and the orange lightning bolt will be off. At which point you can just simply unplug. Again, you hear the click and you hear the ting from the charger. Green light is off and once again the orange lightning bolt comes on again. That's it. That is charging your foil battery. Lastly, I would like to show you how to reset your foil battery. Based on my experience and I think based on the most recent update, you must have the powertrain connected to the battery. You can see I have it connected here and I have the fuselage elevated above the floor so that the propeller will not damage the floor or the floor damage the propeller if it should turn unintentionally. Next, you're going to turn on your foil remote. You can see here everything is connected. And what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the main button until the screen turns off, at which moment, simultaneously, you will hear a click from within inside the battery. The same kind of click that you may be used to hearing when you plug in the powertrain or when you plug in the charger and the battery clicks on to receive the power and to deliver power for the powertrain and, the, and receive power from the charger. So let's try that out right now. We're gonna press and hold right now. You can see it unlocked. You can see it locked. So this is also how you forcefully lock your remote. There, you hear that? You hear that the click inside the battery and you can also hear see rather <laughs> the screen turn off on the remote so i've tried this again with the charger connected i've tried it also without anything connected to the battery and the only thing that happens is that the screen turns off the foil battery is an awesome powerful smart functional battery and on the side here as you can see it is a wireless dock for charging and bluetoothing your remote you simply place a new or different remote and it will Bluetooth to that foil battery for controlling the e-foil that it is connected to. Check out my playlist and videos of other foil incorporated equipment as well as other videos of reviews and information on other e-foil gear. Subscribe and like and live life to the foilist.